In order to partition a number line, you need to make sure it is into equal parts. The top number line, you can see, is partitioned into four equal parts. I started by making a line in the middle, breaking the hole into half, which is seen by the green marks. And then I partitioned each half into half to break it into fourths. So you see this one hole from the zero to the one is broken into one, two, three, four equal parts, making this first yellow part one fourth out of a hole. This second part, two fourths out of a hole or one half of a hole. This third part would be all the way up to three fourths out of a hole. And the whole line would equal the same as four fourths because it's four equal parts out of four equal parts to make one whole. Now the second number line, I want one third to be labeled on the number line. The first step is to partition or divide the number line into three equal parts, the same as the denominator. The denominator tells us the total number of equal parts in a whole. So I'm going to carefully look at my number line, and in order to, to partition it into thirds, I'm going to look at the half, but then go down a little bit. So I start at about half, and I go up towards the zero a little bit. And I start at about half, and I go up towards the one about the same amount. So that way I'm partitioning the line into three equal parts to the best of my ability. Now this is one out of three equal parts, or one third out of the whole. This is two out of three equal parts, or two thirds. And this is three out of three equal parts, or one whole. And if I'm labeling one third on the number line, I would simply need to label this part on the number line.